to the for Caitlyn is Crystal here. The Cassidy on top against Jax matchup. I have to be worried about whether uh, Flan Force to use a flash, no nets over, but clear ups here as well. Corrin's now joining the party, but Bucket's gonna rotate in. A good stun there for Jax, the brawl passive there, and first blood goes to Jax. In a previous game, we talked about half fight when they finally swap Crystal back to oh, bottom. Mouse in trouble as well. Beast gonna flash forward, the Xerath Bolt's gonna just hit there. Need one more auto there coming in. Azir though will come through. Good ultimate there to keep him away, but Beast will get the kill onto Mouse with, I believe, the red buff. The f no, it was the fade advantage, has the dueling advantage, has the ultimate to to follow, but Beast is going in. He's going in deep. They're great. A pre-sigger actually will hit there for the real Korra. Can't quite get away. A great knock up there. The Thunder's coming, but Flandre waited very patiently for that, and that will get him a kill. The kill granted over the match, so they don't want to give Kasten any rope. Up, up top, we're seeing a fight. Horn in trouble. Actually, Beast never mind in trouble. Too many friends as Clearlove almost goes down to the wreck side damage. Zera does snipe Clearlove, though. Finds Pawn as well to cancel back and yeah, Beast is here as well. He's speeding his way in. There's a knockout. The smite in there as well. And again, Flandre just waits for that stun. Actually gets stunned up. Flashes out though with the Ripwalk. Has to be careful. Turns around. The slow comes in. And Beast will get the kill. A game of inches there. It was very smart for Beast to... Yeah, Flandre in the top lane is in a whole host of trouble. Crystal cutting back. Does get that. And now Flandre... Oh, Crystal could be in trouble. Mouse! Oh, deft. Another good Ezot will snipe him, but Flandre wants to go back in here. The rest of Snake's ready to join. There's the Xerath ultimate. Great slow in there as well. And Flandre gets yet another kill. These heat-seeking ultimates. Back and forth again, Bucker. Kind of versus the poke there. From Azir, clear up though. Going to go in, and that's the instant teleports coming in as well. Pong gets the first one to Ella. Koro dives in onto Crystal, and that Jax is going massive. Good stun there onto Bucker. And the damage has come through. That's two free kills there for EDG. The snipe does hit clear level, so two for one now. The team fighting positioning around that pink ward was massive for EDG that it was able to get so much damage. Flandre goes aggressive. He's very low on mana, and you have to think he might get cleared out, but so much damage on death. Crystal got to be careful as well. He's kiting back and forth. Pawn, though. Look at the damage with the soldiers. There's a kill. There's a second kill as well as Death takes it out. And as the trade-off falls through, especially he wants to try and steal the dragon. Clear up, though. Gets it away already, and Beast could be in trouble. He does Lantern out there, and they're poking over the top now as well. Koro looking to get sniped off. So many good skill shots. Can't quite get the last one, though, and Death gets caught up there. He's got to be careful, and Ella gets that kill with the help of Flandre. Pawn, though, does pick up Crystal, so both Eddie carries dead. Flandre gets the next kill there. Now clear up in trouble. Almost gets right there from Beast. Slows him down enough. He actually wants to go back here, but that might not be what he wants to go. Tunnels out though. Two members coming through. Mouse actually going to go in. He dodges the Oh, that's an amazing lantern by Ella. Now Bucket coming through for the poke. And Flandre's in as well. He's going deep in there. Gets a five-man force pulse. Good zone. He's there as well. Dodges the ulti there from Pawn as he throws it out. And now they're going to try and snipe it. There's one kill as clear up goes in onto Beast. Koro gets that next one as well. But Bucker cutting back and forth. Ella in trouble. Now Flandre cutting back in as well. Now Def could be in trouble. He's taking damage here for Crystal, but great cutting in him. In there as well, Baka can't two v one here, and there's the S coming through five for three there in favor of EDG over the extended fight. EDG they're actually on top of Baron Beast, looking in there maybe trying to smite it away. It's getting low. He's got to be careful. But Flandre's in the back as well. He picks up Mouth. The Baron actually regenerating. Ella's back in there, but Pawn picks up the kill and ulti out as well. Now Baka being chased away. Look that damage they're coming through. But Crystal does go down. Death goes down as well there with a great stun from Baka and Beast is coming back. Clear. Up. He wants to steal it. He does get the Baron, but he will go down. His dying wishes to claim the Baron. He does. Help his team take the Baron and they do secure it, but Mouse now getting low, he gets chunked out so hard there with that damage, but Def gonna come in, Beast trying to run in there as well, clear up in the back, he's going onto Crystal, Koro does get that kill though, and that's so important, now Flandre gonna try and cut away, he zoned out Def to Mouse, Beast a little low as well, clear up dies in, but Crystal does get the kill, he's... <laughs> Still dead, but somehow gets it. Now Bucker being aggressed on Makara, who's so tanky. He does chase out, gets one kill, but four kills already down. Snake somehow winning this fight. Kara is trying to make a difference, but there's the ace. Five for two in favor of Snake. It is unbelievable how long... And then Beast Pro can't contend with Koro 1v1. Oh, Death gets grabbed though by Ella. That's an amazing hook. The GA though will keep him alive for now. Rexai's coming in right in the middle of this fight. Clear up. Jumps on Crystal's pawn around the back. He's actually fighting Fundra. who's on it. That's a beautifully no. Not quite timed enough, but Mouth does get the kill there. And Cassim no clear up diving in. But Crystal, Ella, and Barker are doing so well here. And Beast has tanked so much damage. He tunnels out there as well. Is he gonna go down? That's two for one there. Now Death gonna go through. Barker gets the kill as well. So finally gonna build a zone. He's actually the fight will start. They clearly are going to go in Ella, kind of joining him out. A great box there in the choke, but Crystal though getting poked out. He has to be careful. Buck is running back and forth. Flandre just running interference in the back on a dead pawn. He's going to go down soon here, but Koro jumps on a Flandre. Roof locks out. Bucky gets the first kill. Beast is still alive and tanking all of them. And Beast solos out death after Flandre goes in. Koro gets grabbed out of the air by Thrash. And Snake are looking to win this game. 
Ella is just insane with these Thresh Hooks. And how is Beast still alive? He's still fighting. He managed to assassinate Death. He's not going to stop. And this is going to be the 2-0 that nobody picked. No doubt left, I think, now. EDG get defeated by Snake 2-0. There's the fourth kill there for Snake. And this game is over. And what an incredible way to win against a team like EDG. Who is the late game team now? It has to be Snake. No